Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the second of my series of guidelines of special places to visit within the city of Manchester and its surrounding areas. Just half an hour's drive from Manchester city centre is one of the most picturesque locations in the area, the leafy village of Worsley. The lovely canal side setting offers a great day out for all the family with superb food walks along the canal towpaths and the parallel lovely woodlands. There are cafes, pubs, tea rooms and restaurants uh, close by as well as two top quality hotels for those who might want to stay in the area for the holiday. Uh, the best way to get there is by bus from the centre of Manchester number 33. Um, buses are um, wheelchair friendly and best to get an, an all day saver any bus. Check out the um, uh, route planner for bus times and prices uh, by googling. When you get off the bus at um, Worsley Court House, which is used these days for a wedding venue and business conferences, cross the road and um, that will show you the, the very place where um, our canal system in Britain began. This is the Delph and this is the entrance to what was the uh, third Earl of Bridgewater's coal mines. This is one of the boats that was used back in the 18th century to carry coal from inside the 40 miles of tunnels of the mines uh, to Manchester, cutting the price of coal transport by half. It really is a picturesque place and many um, boats that they use now for um, floating homes that are converted heritage boats and there's plenty of um, history to interest you. Nearby there are loads of lovely walks along uh, canal sides and here is um, the main basin in front of the Delft where um, not only were was coal carried but also post and passengers from these very steps. There's the old granary which has now uh, been converted to apartments and again um, houseboats it's very popular with um, leisure craft and people that have their homes. This is actually uh, the dry dock that has been there since the 18th century. It's probably the oldest dry dock in the country. Another view of the packet house and steps where passengers and post used to be moved from. Now the colour of the water is rusty and that's due entirely to the deposits of iron um, which are leached out by rainwater causing uh, the rust colour in the water. It's perfectly clean. Again, it's a great place to sit out in the sunshine. There's cafes nearby and tea rooms and gift shops. Just watch the world go by. Really is a special place. Very, very popular with uh, for wedding, wedding uh, as a wedding venue and also a great place for photographs afterwards. I've used it many times myself in my profession. Some of the boats are still used to transport goods, but the majority are now for leisure. Nearby is um, Worsley Green, expensive houses, but a nice place to sit out and have a picnic. Again, um, canal side walks. This one goes off towards Lee, and there's even the crane that's still used to this day from the 18th century um, to block off the canal when it needs clean. The bridge to your right is called the Alphabet Bridge locally because it has 26 planks on it. Another view, you can see the uh, wooded area, lovely canal sidewalks. On the Here you can see the actual marks made by the ropes that used to tow um, the barges, horse-drawn horse barges. As I say, it's a lovely spot. And that bridge um, to the right takes you under 
and that's the way the coal used to come out at one time. There's the Iron Bridge leading from um, Worsley Green uh, to the shops. There's a view looking towards the aqueduct which carries the canal, the Bridgewater Canal, over the Manchester Ship Canal. Here you can see um, a traditional narrowboat um, used um, to live on. Workers' cottages, now quite expensive houses. There again, there's a, the original crane used to um, lift um, barriers um, to isolate the uh, that part of the canal. Another view of the um, dry dock, which is still working to this day. Uh, for running repairs to boats and cleaning them off. The Bridgewater Canal, some 40 miles long and it goes all the way to the sea at Runcorn. More views of the houses on Worsley Green. It really is a superb location. Lovely summer's day at Worsley, typical scene. Now on the houseboats, um, People who own these narrow boats are very quite keen to use traditional decorations that were used by the people who used to live on the barges and worked on the on the canals um, carrying freight. Um, you can keep your eye open for those things. Uh, castles and flowers, are particularly popular with um, the boat people from the 18th century. And they lived, families, quite large families, lived and worked on these boats along what was 4,000 miles of canal in Great Britain. It's been reduced to 2,000 miles now. This is how small the kitchens were in these boats in the old days. And not a lot of space for a family for as many as 12 people. Um, most of the, well, there are 2,000 miles of working canal in, in Great Britain now. They've all been restored and mainly used for leisure use. Um, commercial traffic on canals ended in the 1970s. Again, traditional patterns decorating um, houseboats, traditional houseboats. You can also hire you can hire boats um, with with um, to drive yourself or um, with a captain or even um, floating hotels these days. You need to search the internet for that. There are cruises on the Bridgewater Canal too that you can sign up for. It's a wonderful place to visit. One of my favourite places in Manchester to photograph as well. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this little tour of Worsley. You can find me also on Twitter, I'm very active. Um, on Facebook too, where I share photographs and photography tips, but also photographs of the area around Manchester. My Flickr, which has got copious photographs, over 10,000 photographs arranged in albums, and many of those include um, albums of Manchester. And then finally, my business 